What is going on everyone, this is Derpy here, and welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. I'm going to be running through a commentary on a level 100 target, which can be very, very difficult. Luckily, I do have a few helpful tips to get you started. The first one is to use a Sea Serpent's Crew. If you do nothing else from this video, try Sea Serpent's Crew, especially if you have the build I'm using, which of course I'll show at the end, and that is going to be very helpful. Also, make sure you have particle effects and projectile explosions turned on here so you can see shockwaves if they happen. They won't show up otherwise, but they still do damage. This target can be pretty confusing. I'm going to break it down into a few steps. The first one is to just auto the three items here, the gate and these two turrets close to you. You can outrange these things. It's easy. It's fantastic. And you could kill this for 7,000 points retreat and come back and do it again. I'm not going to do that. The second element here is to kill these three turrets. Now, the two ones with a very large minimum range are fairly easy. You just have to move across that gap as one without stopping and get inside that minimum range. It's a lot easier in this target than the 101 or the 500. The next one is the really damaging turret. This one is the launcher. The launcher is really, really difficult. You need to kill this while staying out of range of the other firing arcs in the entire target. And it's actually really simple here. All you do is just click on the turret and you'll get there. I'm showing you the background behind this so the 101 and the 500 will make more sense and you can apply these same techniques here rather than just blindly copying what I'm doing. This first turret cluster is dead and you'll notice all the damage from this target so far has been on the flagship right here which is ship number one. All of these things, well, all the things that matter in this target have King Killer, which means that the projectiles are going to target the ship with the highest current armor points. So these next two turrets are going to target ships 2, 3, or 4, not ship 1. Ship 1 is already damaged. Because of this, you cannot build a tank. You can build a Vade on all your ships. That's still useful. I actually haven't done that. I prefer damage instead, but it's not going to work. The next turret is also really easy. All you have to do is click on the radioactive launcher turret. That one you should aim at first. Ideally, you kill before it gets off a second salvo. Once that's dead, just click on the next large heavy turret here with the firing arc, the radioactive thrower. You should never take damage from any of these. That's dead, click on the next one. The second one here I'm currently killing is much easier than the first one. Once that is dead, just get really close to the edge here, make sure you don't have any room for error, and kill these two ballistic minimum range heavy firing arc circular turrets, whatever you want to call those. At this point, the majority of the target is dead, but the hardest, most damaging part is at the very end here, and that is the two ballistic commander turrets, as well as the one launcher one. Again, just click on the launcher one right here, and that will be inside the minimum range of the other two, and that is the target complete. Based on your evade, and again, a sea serpent's crew does help, and how lucky you get, the damage wings can be pretty massive in this target. The one right before I recorded this one, I got 35 minutes damage. It looks like this one is quite a bit luckier here. Ballistic damage is usually a good portion higher, so I evaded more of those ballistic things than I think I'm used to. This is 17 minutes damage. It was not instant repair. Eight minutes was on that second one. No particular reason for that one over any of the other ones. Kixai is currently messing with this target as of 11 p.m. Eastern time, I believe. So it may be worth trying again the second day of the raid if you didn't have luck the first day. And again, make sure you try with a Sea Serpent Screw. The build I'm using is a very standard one. It is also linked in the Google Doc in the YouTube description. You can find all my builds for all my ships I'm currently using there. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. I'm happy to answer any of them. Again, I do only have my four highly upgraded ships using tokens I've saved up and two I've purchased in the raid tokens, that is, rather than five ships at U2. I have two ships at U2 and two at X1. Again, if you have questions, go ahead and let me know. But these are all the channel members I want to say thank you to. Anyway, and until next time, this is going to be Derby signing out, helping you be a better pirate.